points champion Rodney Sanders. Uh, Rodney off to kind of a slow start this year, no wins yet. Yeah, we've been, I mean, we've been close a few times, just haven't haven't got the victory lane yet. We won a few times, just not with the USMTS. We ho hopefully we can get one here this weekend. 11th race of the year, still a young season, plenty of time. Last year, I think, what was it, midsummer or later when you finally came on and really got into the points lead for the USMTS? Yeah, we uh, we were in the southern region to run second, and in the hunt, we uh, that was later on in the year, and we ended up taking the point lead right at the last race. So uh, yeah, it was kind of a heck of a battle last year, and uh, hopefully we can you know run run good again this year, and hopefully have a shot at winning it again. But I gotta thank everybody that helps me to make all this happen: Swan Energy, Wichita Tank Racing, McDonald Oilfield Operations, Kimrad Transport, KBC Graphics, Geddes Race Engines, Crone Farm. There's there's a lot of people that help make all this happen. Like I say, it takes a village. That's what I say. But I mean, there's a bunch of people behind you because uh, you can't win what you guys got invested or what you spend in a year. But like I say, 11th race of the year. Uh, any special plans tonight? I mean, for an early spring race like this, track never been run on. Anything in the back of your mind that you got to do? Oh, I mean, there's usually this is a really good race track. I mean, I know they kind of had to add some cold weather and. Uh, it could be kind of rough, but this place typically isn't. So I think it'll be a good race tonight. We're just trying to, we got a big race here in a couple weeks. Hopefully we can find some things out for that and uh, hopefully get us a win or two this weekend. Almost a test and tune, but not quite. You still want to win. But uh, if I remember right, I don't think it was a couple of weeks ago. The ground was froze around here, so we're probably just lucky to even get it in. But anyway, Rodney, second in the points right now. Long season to go. Man, let's have some fun tonight, Rodney. Yeah, thanks a lot. Got the nine-time champion of the USMTS, Kelly Shia. Kelly, uh, last year or so, kind of so-so. Are we going to make a comeback this year? Yeah, we kind of finished the year off on a better note than we started the year with, so we're hopeful. And uh, we practiced last night. I think we found a little bit of speed, so hopefully we've got something to where we can be competitive. Yeah. Do you like these early spring races? Are they a challenge for a driver and team? Well, generally. I mean, you come to Humboldt, you know you're going to have a nice track on a hole, so some of the other tracks aren't so nice. But I um, <laughs> always look forward to coming to Humboldt. Never know what, looking at the improvements they do. There's They're always doing something. Yeah. And, uh, you know, from when we come here a long time ago, I don't remember our first year we were here, but man, things have changed so much, and it's definitely one of my favorite tracks we race at. Yeah, can't call him a dark horse by any means. <laughs> by no means can you call him a dark horse. But Kelly uh, is going to be a challenge. These young kids are uh, boy, they're really doing it in this series now. I tell you, they've got uh, great owners and uh, great talent, and um, as I get older, they still are young. So <laughs> yeah. we just we keep digging. We, I mean, we're not going to give up and until our pocketbook tells us we have to but yeah. um, we'll keep digging and hopefully we'll find some speed in this thing and uh, at least get in the victory lane a few yeah. times watch out for the three thanks a lot kelly thanks Corey scott so far this year he is leading the usmts in points uh, four wins man stormy guys are off to a great start yeah we're having a good year so far so hopefully we can keep it going for this points deal and uh you know we're the only guy i guess that's eligible now for the 100 grand so i definitely like to keep it going but uh, no we'll just get what we can get and uh you know go on night in and night out and you know just keep plugging away at it i guess one of those wins was at the expense of your brother i understand he led for like 49 laps and you passed him on the last lap so uh man that's gotten it pretty close isn't it yeah i mean i've had that happen to me too i mean it it kind of sucks but uh it is it's the truth it's a it the only th lap that matters is that one off of turn four for the checkered so yeah we ended up getting him and uh, kept our saturday Saturday night deal going, so uh, hopefully we can maybe get us a Friday and a Saturday this weekend. Sometimes that guy out on the point is at a little disadvantage because he's, I guess, running what he thinks is his good groove, and you're in the back, and you know you've got some other grooves working. Did that help out as far as that win went? Could you see pretty much where he was running, and you seen something better? Yeah, I knew he was running. He was actually better than me. I couldn't run with him on the bottom of the racetrack, and uh, we had a restart with, I think, six or seven to go and uh down the back stretch i seen sanders get alongside of me so i just kind of just you know went into turn three hard and slid him and then started running the top and we reeled johnny back in and then coming for the checkered it was kind of lap cars and it was just a big old mess but yeah i ended up getting it so on your home track too this was las cruces right yeah this is our home track where we grew up at so yeah it's nice to get the win there for sure 
Well, what are you thinking here uh, at Humboldt tonight? Uh, man, uh, early spring race, uh, track hadn't even been run on, I don't think. Did you guys get some practice in last night? No, we didn't practice, but we showed up here, and I looked at the track a little bit, and it looked like, looked like it was a good track. Ryan Wirt, Whitworth does a heck of a job on a racetrack. I would put him up against, I think, anybody in the country for you know racetrack prep and making the track racy, so I think we'll have a good track tonight. What uh, do you think may be your biggest competitor tonight? Is there anybody that just stands out? I mean, I know, like you say, you got O. Sanders and your brother and Ramirez. Uh, I mean, that Ramirez race team, they're off to a great start, too. But uh, anybody you're going to be watching for in the rearview mirror if you had one? Uh, no, I mean, there's you know there's a bunch of guys that are going to be fast. But, uh, you know, I just kind of go in the mindset of, you know, block every one of them out and worry about myself and make good laughs and be smooth and uh, – you know, at the end, you know, we're either going to be there or not. So we'll just see how it goes. Once again, Stormy Scott, he's leading the points here so far for the USMTS. Stormy, let's have some fun tonight, man. Uh, we plan on it. The top four, and we will advance four more drivers as they come back around off of turn four. Ryan Staley likes what he sees. We're underway. Coming off of turn four, look at this action into turn number one. Dylan Smith on the inside, Stormy Scott, and Dylan Smith has come loaded. That jet mod chassis, this kid out of Osceola, Nebraska, we saw him in New Mexico. He was strong, and he's looking just as tough here tonight as he runs wheel to wheel with the best in the US MTS series. Stormy Scott, Johnny Scott sits in third, What kind of action we got here tonight? Dylan Smith putting on a clinic with Stormy Scott. Side by side, wheel to wheel. And Smith now with the advantage. The Mike Smith trunking freeze in Chevrolet. Now on the point, Stormy Scott to second. Brother Johnny sits in third. And fourth place is Steve Muhlenberg in the 33, followed by the 90 of Terry Schultz on a Sedalia. Terry Schultz one spot out of moving on. And the Scott brothers trying to figure out what to do here tonight with Dylan Smith. Stormy Scott says, watch this move. He drives it deep into turn one, gets the inside line. That LG2 chassis against a jet mod. The Johnny the Jet sat off set up and that 95 car looking very, very strong here in B feature number two. Real race wheel action hit it on and this is real racing for the number four spot. Steven Millenberg, Terry Schultz going at it side by side now off of turn four. Schultz trying to make some hay. Trying to crack that top four the hard way. Hit it from the top side in car 90. <laughs> Dylan Smith out of Osceola, Nebraska. The old Bill Steen shocks of that jet mod chassis. A leading Stormy Scott. The LG2 Pro Powered in second. Johnny Scott in the Ramirez Pro Powered 1ST. And Steven Millenberg out of Sparta, Missouri. And that 33 car, the TRE chassis. In fourth, Terry Schultz, car number 90. Another Hughes car sitting back in fifth. Joe Duvall. MB Custom Con number 91 and 6 as we stay green flag of racing. Cutting that corner off of turn four right by that big implement tire as a laps winding down here in our real race reel B feature number two. Dylan Smith coming up on lap traffic. 
Stormy Scott is not letting him out of his sights. He is up on the wheel. There is no quit in that camp. Scott now dives back to the bottom as we come to the white flag. Coming up on the 23K at Darwin Carew, Dylan Smith gets it off a of turn two, puts a lap car in between as he hustles back to turn three. Checker flag in hand and your winner of B feature two, Dylan Smith, Stormy Scott is second, Johnny Scott comes home third, and Steve Muhlenberg wraps up the top four. Care of our stock cars, and we're now set for our 40 lap Major League Bow Hunter A Main. Again, our A Main Pole winner from Sebasma Graphics, your vehicle wraps and lettering specialist, is Hunter Rasden in car R5 out of Jonesboro, Arkansas on the pole. Darren Fuquay, the 87, making up the front row. Jake Gallardo out of Las Cruces, a J17, with Derek Ramirez starting fourth in the 4R. Roll three, it's Rodney Sanders in 20, with Austin Siebert in the 16. To roll four, Stephen Bowers Jr. in the 77, and Jeremy Payne, the 186. Roll five, it's Rick Beebe in the 22B, with John Allen, the 98. Roll six, John Sheets in the 8S, with Zach Vanderbeek in the 33Z. To row seven, Terry Phillips at 75 with Dylan Smith in the 95. Row number eight, Jason Hughes in car 12 with Kelly Schrock in car three. To row number nine on the inside, Stormy Scott in the 2S out of Las Cruces with Peyton Phillips in the 98. To row 10, Lucas Schott in car 69 and Johnny Scott the 1ST. Row number 11, Adam Schrag, the 311, and Dan Hilsebeck, the 22D. To row 12, it's Steven Muhlenberg, the 33, and Justin Rexwinkle, the 23, and provisional here tonight, Tom Tillerson, Jr., out of Wellston, Oklahoma, in the 85. That will be your 40-lap A main starting lineup. As congratulations to our Stevens Graphics A main Pole Award winner, Hunter Rasden, out of Jonesboro, Arkansas. In our Brown Brothers Farms, BSB All-Star Bandit, car R5. Darren Fuquay looking very strong here tonight as well. And that Venom Chassis, the big time bail bonds. Fingers in the cookie jar. Has a caution light is off. Razden Fuquay will bring this field around for 40 laps. Our A main for night number one at the Hummer is going green. They clear turn two, and they're still side by side as they have hit full throttle, bringing it for lap number one. Rasden will show the way to Fuquay and Gallardo. Fuquay up against the fence. Derek Ramirez says thank you very much. He'll slide in and pick up the number three spot. Gallardo to second, and it continues to be Rasden showing the way with Sanders remaining in fifth right now in that bottom groove in car 20. Jeremy Payne, the 186 car, trying to pull forward as they work their way back into turn three with Austin Siebert alongside. Hunter Razen out of Jonesboro, Arkansas. Trying to put his name in the books in the United States Modified Touring Series feature, A Main. Looking good here tonight as he leads the field back into turn one off of turn two. Rasden picking him up, laying him down, and Jacob Gallardo, as we mentioned earlier, this kid's due for a feature win as well. Will it come here tonight in the Carson's Crusaders car J17? Three wide action, farther back. As a racingdirt.com bringing you this prime time feature at the 12 o'clock hour as Rasden, Gallardo, now Sanders looking on the inside off of turn two of Derek Ramirez. They're side by side into turn three. Austin Siebert, car 16 in fifth. 
Fuquay going backwards. He is now in the sixth and seventh place is Jeremy Payne in a 186 with Terry Phillips following him, him through here tonight in car 75. Three wide back into turn one. As these drivers in about half a lap will find a lap traffic. Razden, Gallardo, then comes Sanders in 20. Fourth place is Derek Ramirez in the 4R and Austin Siebert in car 16. Now pulling alongside of Ramirez, the Kenny Style entry. Looking very good right now to the high side and he's got fourth. Terry Phillips started back in 13th. And right now, TP halfway home. He is in seventh. Jeremy Payne in the sixth spot. Fifth is Ramirez in the 4R. Fourth place, Austin Siebert to 16. Sanders in 20 in third. Second place is Jacob Gallardo. And your leader is Hunter Rasden in car five. Racing the top to bottom here at Humboldt Speedway for night number one. Gallardo took a look back to the inside. And the AOS engines. LG2 powered chassis. Looking inside off a of turn four. No. Resin. Holds off the challenge this time. Again, Gallardo looks inside off a of turn two. Here we go for the top spot. Lap traffic dead ahead. And young Jacob Gallardo, he has got the elbows up, working over Hunter Razden. Razden gets a good run this trip off a of turn two. Sanders just continues to watch. And now where are you going to go with this lap traffic dead ahead? Working lap 15, now under lap 16, hit it tonight. Coming up on Adam Schrag in the 311 car as their leaders back into turn three. Tiptoeing off of turn four, inside of Schrag. Gallardo looks one car length up, going into turn one. Sanders will try the high line and at MB Custom get his powered Swan Energy, car number 20. Rodney just kind of laying right there in the weeds. Fourth place is Siebert. Derek Ramirez now battles with Jeremy Payne for the number five spot. Jeremy Payne on the inside. Ramirez outside. Right behind him is Terry Phillips in a 75. With Zach Vanderbeek now making some noise. The Z-Man out of New Sharon, Iowa, has put his LG2 sputz powered entry right there with Phillips. Here we go. Sparks are flying. Shrag up into the fence. Razin continues to lead. And now here we go for the top spot. Gallardo took it high off of turn two. Thought better of that as they hustle back into turn three. What more could you want on a Friday night special here at Humboldt Speedway as Tom Tillerson will fall next in line to the prey of Hunter Rasden, your leader. Gallardo now drives it off a of turn two. He looked inside. That thing was storming. I mean, hooked and gone. But they shut the door as they hustle back into turn number one. The best in open wheel modified action bar none for the Casey's General Store powered by Swan Energy. Heading to VP Race Fuel Victory Lane. Who will it be? Razden now goes back inside of lap traffic. These drivers hold their line. He clears. Razden, no, it's no time to waste as he is just demolishing this field. 
Muhlenberg is there. John Allen, Hilsebeck falling next in line. And these are not slouchers. You've got a track champion here at Humboldt Speedway looking to go on a lap down to Hilsebeck now in the 22D car. John Allen in 98, Rick Beebe the 22B, Muhlenberg in the 33, but Hunter Rasden, car number five, opens up an advantage. And probably the biggest he's had here tonight as Gallardo in second, Sanders right there in his fuel cell in third, Siebert in fourth, and Jeremy Payne in fifth. We work lap number 26 of 40. Coming back to the line, 14 laps to go here tonight as there is your leader in car five, Hunter Rasden. Rasden hitting traffic, and I don't know if there's a right time to hit it or not, but he has definitely opened up the advantage over Jacob Gallardo, who now starts to reel him back in. Some three, four car lengths back into turn one. What an A main feature on the books here tonight. Sanders just plain rips it to the inside. He knows there's no time to waste now as he tries to claw his way back to the front. Keep pace with your leaders. Back off a of turn two. Gallardo sideways gathers a car, but unfortunately, he will lose valuable track position. Payne goes past, Sanders passed. Phillips passed. And Jacob Gallardo just plain hung on for dear life. He saves a car, but falls back valuable track position. And his A main feature is Rasden now with Sanders in the number two spot. Third place is Jeremy Payne, Austin Siebert in fourth. Fifth place is Terry Phillips in car 75 with Jacob Gardo now in the six in the J17. Razen right behind the yellow Steven Muhlenberg, the 33, Razen in the five, Rick Beebe, John Allen in between lap cars of Rodney Sanders in car 20. That Kenrad Transport STSI MB Custom get us powered with Hunter Razden in that bandit chassis. And he is looking to be a bandit hit tonight. The Case IH sponsorship on board of the Brown Brothers Farms BSB All Star entry from the pole, looking to take 40 laps and win his first ever. United States Modified Touring Series event here at the Hummer Humboldt Speedway. Sanders now coming up through. Five laps remaining here tonight. Sanders, can he do anything with five to go? The only thing between him now is about five car lengths as Hunter Rasden into turn three, off of turn four again, just playing spot on the money. Farther back, Sanders started fifth on the field, still very much in the hunt as they come off of turn four. Jeremy Payne to third, Terry Phillips fourth, Jacob Gallardo now back into fifth, who had such a strong run, but hey, this is still a very good run here tonight as we've come to the white flag. We've got one to go. Final lap here tonight, Hunter Rasden looking to put his name in the books to win at Humboldt Speedway. Off of turn four, he will do it. Razden, your winner.
Sanders comes home second. Jeremy Payne in third. Fourth is Terry Phillips and Jacob Gallardo, your top five. We got the winner here tonight for the USMTS race here at Humboldt, Hunter Rasden from Jones Jonesboro, Park. Arkansas. All I can say, Hunter, is, man, that was fun to watch, and, I mean, you had that baby hooked up. It was nice. Uh, I love this racetrack. First time here, and uh, it's treating me well. Yeah. I was going to say, you're going to want to come back for that King of America thing, I bet. How about that? That's kind of what we plan on coming here for is try to get tuned up for it. And hopefully, I think we need to get a little better, though. <laughs> Where do you normally run at down there in Arkansas? I just run kind of regionally, you know, within like a four to six hour tour around the house. Uh, I think this is my third time to Kansas and first time to this racetrack. So. Man, I tell you, like I say, a lot of fun to watch. I'm sure you're looking forward to tomorrow night too. Conditions tonight, was this kind of something that you're used to? I know Arkansas, it's a little bit warmer than it is around here. But, man, this cold weather kind of hard to take, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I am used to the slick stuff. We, we run on a lot of slick stuff, but uh, uh, and this racetrack kind of favors the track back home that I grew up on, so it kind of helped me out. I was going to say, nothing like home, but uh, Hunter, congratulations on a great run tonight, and like I say, I know you're looking forward to tomorrow night and here a couple of weeks for the King of America, but uh, congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank you.